do not fear other people, corporations, communities over Allah. <laughs> Investing in your eternity. So think about it. If someone understands the concept of business or they have a business that's going on or they understand investment, what they would do is they would save their money. They've saved small amounts of saving and buy a product and then sell it. Or they'll put it into some sort of investment that they understand. And they'll be looking and hunting for deals. Now, if you understand the concept of eternity, in, in the eternity, you can't use your euros, you can't use your dollars, you can't use other currencies, you can't use Bitcoin, you can't use Ethereum, but it will be the state of your heart, the heart that you take to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the actions you do. So Allah is inviting us and reminding us that we should be racing to compete and use our resources, our time, our energy, our focus, our wealth to do good things in the society. So use your time wisely at an individual level, making sure you're praying five times a day. Now, if you have an opportunity and you know that, look, I can be praying at home or I can be praying in the mosque, in the masjid with jama'ah and I can increase my returns by 27 times. Why would you not do that? Maybe it's hard. If it's hard, try to make it easy for yourself. Surround yourself with opportunities where you are close to the masjid. So this way you can maximize your gains and you can maximize your results. And same thing, other acts of worship, you know, sharing the message of Islam, making dua, doing charity, volunteering, and so on and so forth. It's really, really important to think about it as we think about our retirement, you know, retiring early or retiring late, doesn't matter how you are conscious about it. Make sure that you're investing in those deals that will get you maximum results in your hereafter. The second thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us here again that look whatever you do people may not appreciate you you may not see the results in front of you but Allah is all aware of it and Allah will surely recompense you for that the last point that we saw in these verses is really important and something that we saw when the things were happening about Gaza and Israel so look what happened there were many people who were being silenced not just because of their fear of physical harm, but primarily their fear of business loss. Hey, you gotta stop and you have to change your narrative. And if you don't do that, we'll take away your sponsorship. We will not advertise with you. That, change, that caused many people to change their policies. They, if you do not support us, we will not give you donations and funding for your next election campaign. If you don't stop, we will fire you, so on and so forth. So many things, people were under that threat that if I don't follow, I will suffer. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding you that look, whatever you have, your bounties, your provision, your success is all in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if it comes to it, I'm not saying that every situation requires it, but if it comes to it, do not fear other people, corporations, communities over Allah. Remember, فَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ وَخْشَوْنِي Do not fear them, but fear Allah. And remember that He is the one who can give and He is the one who can take. So whenever you're making decisions of what to say, how to say, what to do, taking time off for prayer, what, what will my boss say? What will my professor say? Who are you fearing? Who are you afraid of? So think, do not fear them, fear Allah. He will complete His bounties and protect you.